Hey, what's up everybody? I am playing a Flash game known as Aethor, or Ether, Whichever pronunciation you prefer is what the game is. It was made by Edmund McMillan, very awesome dude, and Tyler Glale, very awesome dude. I like their games a lot. They've made Super Meat Boy and The Binding of Isaacs. I don't know if Tyler was involved in Binding of Isaac, but uh, probably because they, they do a lot of games together. I'm a big fan. A story is told of a boy who was lonesome, who strayed a bit far from his home. As the daylight grew dimmer, he saw a faint glimmer lost in the wake of sea foam. For the boy had a feeling that this monster was kneeling to offer his hand to a friend. The boy darted away, but then turned to stay, afraid of the message he'd send. He lowered his hand and the boy bustled up, looking proud atop his new steed. For the boy had a venture. He was bound for adventure, and this monster had planted the seed. Looking up to the stars, he thought to himself, imagine all the people up there. Could they all be as lonely, or am I one and only? Would the people of Earth really care? So our story unfolds, a boy and his pet, leaving his home without care or regret. Truly a tale that none will forget. Okay. Basically, we're gonna go roaming around the galaxy using our uh, ASD, ASDW controls and our mouse as a tongue to shoot zipping around the galaxy like a mad maniac. And uh, we're gonna go help people of other planets. Hang on, I gotta turn on my TV volume, my, my monitor volume. A bit overpowering. Sorry about that. We're back now. You know, I've suddenly changed nationality. I hope that's okay with you. Very bad accent. I'm sorry. All right. Uh, so we got four different planets we can go to, not including Earth. So that's Earth being the fifth one. Um, they all got a puzzle for us. So I guess we'll go to blue first. Fuck it. Why not? Because I'm blue. Da ba dee da ba die. And if I was green, I would die. Quite frankly, even if I was a human and I wasn't blue, and if I was green, I would also probably die. Depending on what the green um, was from. You know, if it's gangrene all over my body, I'm fucked. If it's fucking food coloring, I might be okay. You know, I'm not a doctor. I, don't, I, I can't really say. But that's pretty much the notion of the ocean that I'm going with. Woo! Speaking of ocean, holy shit. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Why are you so grumpy, mister? What happened? What happened to you? Why do you want to be left alone? Oh, sh oh, ooh, I'm eating the things. Hello. Hello, little cricket looking caterpillar guys. You're gonna get chomped, bitch. I came to destroy. They came for me in the. Oh, there we go. I came to destroy everything you guys hold sacred here. Yeah, we brought color back. We are Shamu, but less abused. Woo! Sweet. All right, that guy was uh, just wanted to be left alone. I guess we did that for him. We also took his food supply. I don't know if that's what he eats, but probably not the nicest gesture while visiting his home planet. At least I'm assuming it's his home planet. He may have got here, got there the same way that we did, just zipping around the galaxy on a crazy, crazy long tongue. Let's go to yellow. It's looking satisfying to me. It looks so nice. Yellow is the way to go if you ask me. And uh, well you probably didn't ask me, but I'm in charge of this thing right now. So uh, kinda, kinda left it up to me, didn't you? Didn't you? Didn't you? All right, we're going there, where is it? Oh, oh hello, Mr. Fossil, Mr. Giant Fossil. You ever think that there might be like a colony of uh, like living beings that don't really inhabit a planet in outer space. You know, like I, I believe in aliens. I mean, I, I honestly, I'll, I'll say it. I think you're crazy if you don't, because there's fucking. There's another one. The galaxy, the, the, even our galaxy is fucking enormous. I mean, I know I'm not speaking very uh, scientifically at the moment, but the galaxy is fucking enormous. There are billions upon billions of other galaxies, and if you don't think that there's something else out there, then you're a fucking loon. I'll say it. I don't give a shit. Whoa! We are zipping around. Bibulon. I believe that there could be like another species, like another planet full of humans somewhere out there. 
I mean, I'm even open to the interpretation that there could be some sort of god. I don't like religion, but I, I think there could be some sort of force. You know, I don't, well, it's not my main belief, but <laughs> I don't know. I'm open to it. I'm all, I'm all ears. Oh, yes. Personally, I think he's pretty cool. Who are you talking about? Oh, you're talking about this guy? I'll never amount to anything. They all think I'm dumb. You, you shouldn't get so down on yourself, man. Because uh, the world can be your oyster. Look at this guy. He's got his head up in the clouds. Almost. Not that far away. He's looking, I mean, he's got a bit of a gap tooth kind of thing going on, but... He's not letting that shit get him down. He's all about it, man. He's making that... He's owning it. He's making that his. That's what you gotta do in these situations. You gotta own it. Oh, that's uncalled for. I hate you so much. Although, I guess it's kind of okay being that I'm murdering you. So, I'm sorry. I don't want you to hate me. I just want you to accept your fate. Because it was the only thing I could do if I wanted to complete the game. So, that's my apology. And he can't hear me anymore because he's dead. Whoa, shit. Holy shit. I want to get on you. I want to get on you, Holmes. I want to be inside you, Holmes. I don't want to be inside you. I want to... I do want to be on you, though. There we go. I'll leave when... I'll go home when he leaves. Who's he talking about? You talking about this guy? Where is he? Where is he? You talking about this guy? One day, I'll be great and show them all! That's right, that's the spirit. Don't be like this guy getting all down on yourself. Cause you'll never accomplish anything that way. That'll be... So bad! <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about. Do do do! Ooh, we're making it back into outer space. Oh no, there we go. We gotta get back onto... The last and final moon. So if you, uh... If you can uh, figure that out on your, figure this out on your own, I've kind of played this game before, once a while ago, but I remember how it works and I remember how to do the thing, so I'm kind of just speeding through this. I just wanted to play it on a video because I don't know, I like it a lot, and I figured I'd share the experience with YouTube and whoever watches this video. That'd be cool, right? You know, why not? I'm already playing the game. I figured why not put a video in motion. If you will. Yeah, let's go to the next planet. I don't know, green? That sounds good. It's kind of like a uh, estranged from the other planets, so it'll be easier to find and target and hit, land upon. Get there. Get to it. Hop to it. Woo! Look at us floating. We are floating octopus child guys of the galaxy. I bet there are none like us, you know? But there are no other partners in crime such as this ever ever really can I just say this game is fantastic I would love to meet Ed Mc Edmund McMillan I love his art style I like the games he creates helps to create anyways I know it's a it's a team effort but I love his oh holy shit that was weird looking <laughs> oh god the brasa the the basa sorry but I, I would just love to meet him and fucking I don't know, gush at him about how much I like everything that he does. Why do you look like me? Because we... Well, I can't really tell with the cloud in a way, but from your feet, I would assume we were both humans. I don't know why you're on this other planet. I'm stuck here because I'm bad. Is that why you're here too? Have you done bad things as a boy? Have you done bad things? Despicable things that you need to be punished for? Yes? Oh, what was that? Face! Face? Is that a face? That looks like a face. Come on. I want to get back out of here. There we go. Ah, this this atmosphere is really soupy. It's like pollution, I guess. And uh, it's hard to get out of here. It's like fucking being in, being inside Jupiter. Very soupy. Basically, what we're gonna be doing here is uh swinging about see these guys they're they're causing all the shit they're causing all the bullshit out of their buttholes they're farting all over the atmosphere it's no bueno so we gotta fucking do a few loop diddy loops ah there we go loop diddy loop 
Yeah, you like that shit? Oh, you dead. You dead, son. Your polluting days are over. We need to save this planet. We do. We do, we do. There we go. Yeah, buddy. Ah. Uh, your pollution days are over too, mister. You done. You didn't think I was coming, but I am. Ha ha! That's two. Two more to go. Oh, bam! Fuck you! I am sick of you destroying this planet, trying to make all the people feel like they've done bad things to deserve what's what's happening to them. It's not right, you hear me? It's not right. It just it ain't right, and I'm gonna put a stop to it today. I'm going down further than I meant to. Damn it! It's hard to get out of this soupy atmosphere. It's very soupy. It is like fucking minestrone. It's like clam chowder up in here. That's how thick it is. Not not Manhattan clam chowder, like fucking New England clam chowder. That thick fucking white garbage. So this shit's green. And I like clam chowder, so it's not really garbage. But I mean, if you have it sitting out for a few days, probably best to have it thrown away and make it garbage. Ah, I can't get a good swing going. Jesus. There we go. We've got it going on now. Ah. Gotta get some fucking motion. Yes. Oh, there we go. We've done it, dude. We brought back. We've we've destroyed the soupy atmosphere and brought back life and happiness to this once desolate planet. Still, kind of desolate. There's some grass and some mushrooms. I guess that's something. But maybe one day you will prosper. He looks happy about it. I mean, we're bringing happiness to the galaxy, to the solar system. And I could not be happier about what we've done today. Now there's only uh. What is it, like one more planet to go to, and then, and then, uh, we'll see what happens, you know? I believe so. I believe that's all that's going on. We're gonna go to pink. I'm all about the pink, yo. Let's get there. Let's make shit happen. Uh. Uh. Now, the first time I ever played this game, it took me a while to get the hang of the whole tongue control things. They're a bit tricky, you know? They can be a bit... Ugh, overbearing at times, but you'll get used to them, you know. Oh, by the way, I should probably say, you can play this game at armorgames.com, which is a Flash game website, if you did not know. And there's also a download link when you start the game online. It opens up a win... win uh, hey, you guy! Were you the guy on that planet? Were you? Oh, look at you, flying your uh, similar thing to me. That's cool. It's like a... It's similar, but it's skinnier. But, uh, oh yeah, that's what I was saying. You can download the game once you open it in the windowed version. It says download for faster playing. That's what I did, playing the downloaded version. And it opens up in a WinRAR file, and you can just download it and open it with WinRAR, unzip it, if you will. And uh, you can play this game for yourself. It's a lot of fun. It is. Do it. It's like 80 megabytes. It's really not that bad. Boom! Hello, Gravita. How are you guys doing, little squirmy squirms? Follow me around like you know what's going on. But they don't know what's going on, do they? They know nothing. Holy shit. Hey, guy. I'll be happy when I'm dead. Oh, God. You said that with a smile on your face, you sick fuck. I'm sorry to hear that, though. That's that's never a good thing to say. Oh, he looks like he'll be happy when he's dead, too. That's not good. At least no one can hurt me here. No, I'm sorry. Have you been used and abused? I do not like to hear about that. We can get through it together. You can talk to me. I will be your doctor. Yeah, we've done it. We swung on all the crystals on the inside of the planet. And uh, I don't know what that did, but it made him happy. So we've completed this planet. Now let's get the fuck out. Ah, oh, damn it. I always have a hard time. I always have a hard time getting out of here. Oh, I can't get a good swing. He's just being a dope. He's being a fucking dope. <laughs> I don't like it when he's a dope. Come on. Don't be a cunt. Oh my god. There we go. Yes. Sometimes my stomach hurts. I'm sorry. The atmosphere honestly looks like Pepto-Bismol. So just inhale. <laughs> you know. Just inhale that shit. And you'll feel better in no time. Maybe it's a stomach hurting from drinking too much Pepto Bismol when your stomach didn't hurt, you know? I'm sure that's probably a thing. 
I'm not really much of a Pepto person in the first place, so I guess I couldn't really say. I only really had it like a few times. I usually go for like Dayquil or something, I don't know. Or nothing at all, I gotta tough it out, you know? All that medicine's not always that great. Oh, look at you! It looks like the guy from that planet we were just on. He's soaring, lighting farts in the atmosphere, in the outer space, having a f happy fucking old time. I'm glad. That's what it looks like to me anyways. That's how I'm gonna interpret that. We made that guy happy, he grew giant. He went out to the outer space and just started blasting farts for propulsion. And hey, 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 hey there's those guys. It's like we get to see them in outer space and they're happy again. We've made good things happen. Woo! We're going back to Earth! Uh. Oh no. We destroyed the Earth. We've become too big and mighty from all the good we've been doing. And it just shattered. And now we're just floating to the moon. Where we will stay, I guess. As the boy delved in deeper, his imagination went wild and the grasp of reality was left from this child. The impact he caused broke his tie to the earth, but his fears and his worries had caused a rebirth. Being lost in his dream, his imagination expanded and with the aid of the beast, he commanded. This boy would live on in the memories of past, and the boy would find hope in future he cast. To be continued. Now, I don't know if you ever made a second one, to be honest. Maybe I'll check that out at some point in the future. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video of myself beating uh, Aether. And, uh, yeah, go check it out. And play it for yourself if you liked it and you liked the way it looked and stuff. Anyways, see you later.